All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. This hour, we are going to be practicing our TOEFL responses. Um, if you have never, uh, if you've never uh, answered TOEFL questions before, uh, it, they're very similar to like TOEIC and whatnot, or at least uh, the uh, section 11 in, in the TOEIC speaking, speaking test. Well, what we do, uh, we read a question you then have 15 seconds to prepare your answer and then 45 seconds to answer the question after that. Okay, uh, I'll be looking at your pronunciation okay, as well as your, uh, your grammar okay, and then uh, also your time limit, whether or not you can answer the question fully in 45 seconds. And then uh, the last thing, uh, it, to make sure that you are uh, answering the question um, you're basically answering the question because sometimes uh, students they kind of go off uh, off cue and they uh, they uh, take a look at uh, or they answer answer a different question. Okay, so we want to make sure that our that our that our answers are directed uh, straight toward answering this particular question. Okay, the link here, the link is in the. Okay, in the class material section, I'll also put it in the uh, Verbling chat as well as the Google chat section. Okay, so it's, uh, that's there for you guys to open and have on your computer. I also have a, uh, a stopwatch that we'll be using for the class. Okay, very good. So let's see here. Hi, Mabel. Hi. Welcome back. Hi again. <laughs> very Thank good. You. So, Mabel, what, uh, what do you do? Are you a student or do you work full time? No, I, I'm well. I'm the student. I don't study it anymore. Uh -huh. I studied two years in international business, and now I'm looking for a job. Okay, cool, cool. And I'm studying and, English and French. Oh, very nice, very nice. And uh, how is how is your French coming along? More French. I don't understand this expression. Okay. Yeah, French. Uh, uh, my my mom spe speaks uh, a bit of French. My dad speaks a bit of German, um, and then yeah, I did Spanish. My brother did Spanish as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, learning learning languages is is uh, uh, a big thing in our family. I've got cousins that know Mandarin Chinese, um, others that have learned Russian. You know things like oh. that. So. No, no, all my family is Spanish. Okay. Peruvian. Very cool, very cool. And have you traveled outside of Peru yet? I'm living, I'm living in Spain right now. I've been living here for seven years now. Oh, cool, cool. And have you have you adopted the uh, Spanish accent? No, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, okay. Well, cool, cool. Uh, well, are you at least saying vale after every two or three words? Oh, always, always. <laughs> Okay, very cool. Me too, me too. My uh, my my Spanish students are going to kill me for that. One. No, I have I have a lot of uh, 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 private Spanish students that live in Spain, and uh, whenever I say something, ah, vale, 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 vale. vale. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. All right, yeah, very yeah. cool. Uh, let's see, Nurel, welcome to class. Nurel, are you there? Oh yes, I'm here. Always a pleasure to be in your class, teacher. Awesome, Thank good you. to have you here. Thanks and for your time. No problem. Nurel, I'm so happy you're feeling better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's great. Too. That's great. So uh, did, you, you, did you just uh, take um, some over-the-counter medications or um, did you actually have an infection or anything like that? No, just, just, uh, just, uh, just the beginning of cold. So if you treat it before it gets worse, then uh, just over-the-counter medication will work. Sure, it sure. Works. Yeah, but if you leave your uh, untreated, your, your flu untreated, then yeah. it'll just get it'll get worse and worse. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're feeling better. It's never fun being sick. All right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started, you guys. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Mabel, have you have you done uh, or have you answered TOEFL questions uh, before? Never. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, uh, TOEFL 
uh, TOEFL is good for um, colleges and also getting uh, getting employment in places like Canada, United States, uh, and things like that. They look for TOEFL scores if English is not your first language. Okay, uh, IELTS it's like is good a, as well. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, the first certificate mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Yeah, so um, there, there's also IELTS, uh, which is business related as well, and TOEIC, which is another one of one of those tests. Okay, so basically the purpose uh, the the purpose here is to be able to answer a question uh, quickly and to the point. All right. So when uh, when we answer these questions, we want to use a mini essay format. All right. So um, we want to have a, a short introduction supporting statements and then a conclusion okay your introduction is usually going to be very short okay maybe a sentence okay and then you'll have your other sentences that back up what you're what you're talking about then a conclusion at the end okay um, and I'll have Nurel go first she'll give you uh, an example of uh, of uh, what they what they sound like Nurel is is practicing for uh, for the TOEFL exam uh, she lives in the United States right now and uh, she needs that so that she can uh, um, uh, become it's so that you can become a pharmacist right you already yes. are a pharmacist but you need your license to work there in the States right yes yes so okay yes. then after that then you're making big bucks <laughs> That's right. Um, very, very um, good. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and check this out. The uh, link to the questions is in the uh, chat box. Okay, and we're gonna go to page number. Uh, I believe I'm on page number nine. Yeah, page number nine, and we're talking about home country. Okay, so um, let's see here, Nurel. Uh, let's yes. take a look at uh, number one. Go ahead and read that out loud. Okay. If you were asked, oops, what's up there? There you go. Oh. Okay. If you were asked to send one thing, representing uh, your country to an international exhibition, why would you choose? Why use specific reasons and details to explain your choice? Okay. All right. Let's see. Fifteen. Fifteen seconds to prepare. Excuse me. What? What number have you read? Um, we are. We are on. We are on page number nine. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So page number nine, under where it says home country. I, and it's uh, number number one. This is a whole list of like 200 questions, and uh, they're they're separated by subcategories. Okay. And he, she has read the number one. Yeah, she read number one. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So you have 15 15 seconds to prepare. Here we go. To prepare what? I'm sorry. Uh, Nurel, Nurel is uh, preparing. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, if I were asked to send uh, uh, to send something for exhibition, I don't know what is the question. <laughs> okay, I would send a re food recipe. First of all, uh, it's very energetic and healthy, so I am sure that it will help lots of people who like and look to stay healthy, healthier. Uh, secondly, this recipe can keep you younger. Uh, it's about a mix of uh, herbs that uh, you can uh, have. You can have like one uh, meal a week, and it's uh, really really. Uh, it's really uh, make the process of aging go away, so uh, you can stay younger. Uh, so this is the recipe I will send to the exhibition. Okay. All right. So um, you were a little little long in your uh, in your yeah. response here, just a bit. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So what what I would do is. Um, uh, take a little less time in explaining exactly what uh, what it does. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I were to uh, send something that represents my com my country to an exhi exhibition, I would send a a uh, a traditional recipe or a traditional plate of food. Okay. This food would represent my country by okay doing this, doing that, uh, doing the other. Okay, it shows the different types of herbs that we have, uh, the special way we pre prepare uh, beef or our meat, okay, and the different vegetables that we that we uh, show there. These are the reasons that why I would send this plate of food to this uh, this particular exhibit. Okay, that, does that make sense, Nudo? Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, I would yeah I would stay away from what the the partic particular ingredients do. And focus more on the item and what it would do to represent your country. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Very good. Thank okay. You. Uh huh. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So Tarek, what we're doing? We're answering TOEFL questions. All right. And these are these are uh, um, structured questions. Okay. This is uh, very similar in most. Or in a lot of the different tests uh, that uh, that are required for getting into universities and uh, gaining employment in English-speaking countries. Okay, so we're practicing our ability to answer random questions. Okay, uh, in a certain amount of time. Okay, so uh, Mabel, let's uh, let's go to you. All right. So, uh, question question number two. Go ahead and read that out loud. Question? Uh, question number two. I have to read. Uh, yes, read that out loud, please. Okay. I don't find the document. Okay, uh, let me copy it. Uh, I'm going to put it in the chat box for you. Okay. But I just open it. Okay, so it's in it's okay. in the Google it's in the Google chat box for you. I don't like it, but I think I... Okay, number two. A grand visitor has only one day to spend in a country. Where should, where should this visitor go on that day? Why? Use specific reason and details of your choice. Okay, now, um, this question is going to be an opinion question. Okay? Uh, it's also going to be... Um, a, uh, a hypothetical situation. Okay. okay. So we're going to say something like, if a visitor, okay, uh, or a tourist visited my country, I would, okay, so if I would, okay, if a visitor uh, came to my country, I would, all right, so we're using second conditional here, right, I would tell them to visit uh, such and such a place. And you could talk about Peru or you can talk about um, Spain, whichever you'd like. Okay. Um, after you mention the place, so that's your introduction, it's really quick. Okay. After that, name uh, uh, two reasons why you would, uh, you would uh, recommend that place. All right. And then conclude your answer. Okay. So let's, uh, let's try this out. Okay. okay, so you'll have 15, so take 15 seconds to prepare, so jot down some ideas, and then I'll give you 45 seconds to answer. Okay, ready? Okay. okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> Too, <Go>. fast. <laughs> Too fast. Too fast. Alright, you ready? Yes, now I have to explain my place and why, right? Yeah, so you want to do a small introduction, uh, sounding kind of like this. If a visitor came to my country, I would tell them to visit whatever okay. place. Okay, and then uh, you would say, uh, for two reasons, or because, okay, and you'll explain why you would recommend that place. Give me a couple reasons for it, and then conclude your answer. 
Okay. Okay. Go ahead. If I had a foreign visitor in my country, I would tell them to visit Machu Picchu because it's the best place to visit because of the culture and because we have a lot of history in this city. And it's a wonder is a wonder wall. So it's really interesting to go there and visit and take profit profit that this magnificent magnificent place. So Okay, all right, good, good, nice, nice, nice job on your first time through. All right, one thing that we were lacking at the end would be the conclusion. All right, so let me uh, let me tell you what a conclusion would will sound like. Okay, and uh, Mustafa, I'm gonna uh, mute you. Okay, all right, so. Uh, your conclusion, um, you want to say something like, uh, so that is the reason why I would recommend a visitor to visit Machu Picchu. Okay. Okay. Or if you had multiple reasons, you would say, so those are the reasons why I would recommend a visitor to visit Machu Picchu. Okay. So it concludes everything that, uh, that you say. Okay. Okay. My conclusion. Yeah, your conclusion. Um, now, uh, I do want to work on the word "its" instead of "e." Eats. Okay, use a short "i" there. Its. Its. Okay. Good. Now, um, another thing. Uh, did you say "wonderful" or did you say "wonder world"? Wonder world. I meant to say "maravilla del mundo." <laughs> okay. All right. So, a wonder world. Wonder world. Wonder world. Okay, make sure to pronounce the D at the very end. Okay, so it's a wonder world. Wonder world. There you go. Good. Good. All right. Nice job. Good. Uh, good. Uh, good try on your first time through. Nice. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Cool. All right, we will. We will. Slowly but surely. And uh, let's see here, Eunice. Hi. Hi there. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. How about Excellent. you? Excellent. I'm doing great. Eunice, where are you from? I'm, t I'm from Turkey. From Turkey. Excellent. All right, and uh, Eunice, have you answered TOEFL questions before? No. Okay. So, uh, when you're answering a TOEFL question, you want to have an introduction, okay, some supporting statements, and then a conclusion. All right, it seems simple, but you only have 45 seconds to do so. All right, so you need to pay attention to the time and, uh, and make sure that you are concluding uh, at the end before 45 seconds is up. So your question is question number three that you can see here on the board. Can I have you read this out loud, please? Uh, what is, what? Uh, could you repeat? I can understand uh, because uh, connection is very bad. Okay, uh, please read question number three out loud. Uh, okay, okay. What is the most important animal in your country? Why is the, uh, uh, why is the animal important? Use reasons to uh, add uh, specific details uh, to explain your answer. Okay, all right. So you'll have 15 seconds to then um, prepare. Okay, I will be quiet. Okay, everyone else in the in the class will be quiet as well. So you have 15 oh. seconds to think, to yeah. think. All right. Then after that, you'll have 45 seconds to answer the question. Okay. Uh, so, uh, 15 okay. seconds. So, uh, you'll need to think that you're not going to answer the question right now. I'll tell you when to answer, but think about how you're going to answer about what which animal is the most important in your country. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, am I start now? Nope. Okay. Okay. All right. So you've had fifteen seconds. Now it's uh, it's your time to speak and answer the question. You'll have forty-five seconds. I'll continue from fifteen seconds and go up to sixty. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay, uh, in my uh, country there are a lot of uh, 
dogs. Especially uh, we have uh, Sivas uh, Kangal, you know, Kangal, uh, the kind of dog. Uh, because uh, they are uh, very uh, sadik. Uh, I don't know uh, these words. Uh, could you wait? <laughs> they are uh, faithful. <laughs> they are faithful uh, dogs, uh, and uh, just uh, they are uh, bigger uh, animals uh, right. than other. Time. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. Uh, so yes, it goes. It goes really quick. All right. So. Uh, when you're answering a question, and this goes not only for TOEFL questions, you guys, but when you're in an interview, okay, you're in in, in an interview for maybe going to a university or um, for a job, okay, being able to answer the proper question, okay, and answering it uh, quick and concise. So here, our question is, what is the most important animal in your country? Okay, an easy way to uh, to uh, create your your introduction would be to uh, sort of restate this and give your answer. The most important animal in my country is the dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we would say the dog. Okay, the reason okay. the dog is the most important animal is because it's faithful. We have a lot of them. Uh, you know, whatever reasons. Now you give your reasons. Then at the end. You would conclude by saying, those are the reasons why the dog is the most important animal in my country. Okay, so mm -hmm. everything you say is geared or focused on answering that question. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Now, um, it, it's, uh, it's uh, more challenging than it actually sounds, so it'll take a little bit to get used to, but good good work. Nice, nice attempt. Okay, we'll keep working on it, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you, you're welcome. Uh huh. Let's go to Tarek. Okay. All right, Tarek, number four. Plants uh, go ahead and, go ahead and read that, please. Okay. Plants can provide feed, uh, food, shelter, shelter, uh, clothing, uh, or medicine. What is one kind of plant that important uh, to you? or the people in your country. Okay, so you'll have 15 seconds okay. to prepare your answer. Okay, ready? Uh, okay. Uh, I think uh, that's uh, olive oil, uh, olive, olive, olive plant, because uh, we use uh, in our country uh, oil, uh, olive in a lot of um, uh, 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 a lot of uh, things that uh, like um, olive oil. We can use it to cook, uh, and uh, we can also uh, use it. Uh, uh, to treat uh, or uh, to um, make uh, the hair uh, uh, look as uh, beautiful, and we can uh, use uh, oil, uh, olive oil in uh, uh, sorry in uh, in uh, um, as a medicine, and we also uh, can eat uh, uh, olive uh, with uh, che uh, cheese or uh, in the breakfast. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look here, uh, and we're going to work on an introduction. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So our our question is: What is one kind of plant that is important to you or the people in your country? All right. So oh. you uh, jumped in and you said uh, that would be the the olive. Okay. Or olive oil. All right. So what you would what you would want to say as an introduction is. Uh, one kind of plant that is important to uh, to my people, okay, or the people in my country, is 
the olive or the olive tree. Okay. Okay. Then you would continue saying the reasons why this this is important is because we use it for we use it in our food. Okay, we use it uh, for our hair. Okay, uh, we use it for this. We use it for that. Okay, whatever it is that you use it for, explaining why it's important. Then at the end, you want to give a conclusion. Okay, your your conclusion um, uh, should reflect what you just said. You'd say those are the reasons why the olive tree is uh, is important to the people in my country. Yes. Okay. Does that make okay. make sense? So we it's like the introduction and the conclusion. Those are two pieces of bread. You need both of them. Okay. All right. And in the middle, you can say whatever you'd like, but you ha absolutely have to have those two. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now. Um, uh, I want to look at okay the word uh, look beautiful. Let's uh, let's try that that pronunciation. Look beautiful. Try that, please. Look beautiful. Good. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Let's go to Saja. Hi there, Sa <clears throat> Saja. How are you? Saja. I cannot hear you at this time. Uh, uh, keep working with your microphone. Uh, I'll see if I can come back to you. Uh, let's let's see. Let's go to Mustafa. Yes, hello, teacher. Hi, Mustafa. How are you? I'm doing well. Excellent. Okay, Mustafa. Let's take a look at number five. Okay. Describe a custom from your country that you would like people from other country to. Uh, Explain your choice using and the examples. Okay, so um, Mustafa, let's take a look at our introduction here. All right. So with our introduction, you're you're going to be looking. Uh, you're you're going to name something that you want other countries to adopt. Okay. Maybe um, uh, so you have a custom there. Maybe it's um, uh, waking up early. It's a custom that your people have. Uh, maybe it's um, taking taking a lot of time during uh, during lunch or dinner to eat together as a family, all right? Okay. Um, maybe it whatever it may be. Okay, so think of a custom that you want the rest of the world to adopt. Okay, um, and your introduction you want to say um, a custom. Okay, so you're going to start right here. Okay, a custom from my country that I would like people from other countries to adopt is and then name what it is all right then you're going to have your your reasons after that okay all right let's uh, let's try this out okay. I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to prepare here we go Okay, you ready? Okay, okay. Go. Uh, the custom. Okay, the custom that uh, I would people from other country to adopt uh, is a relation, uh, a calm relation, uh, uh, or calm relation, or a good relation uh, to each other, uh, or how to be. Um, uh, more connecting between each others uh, because uh, the relationship uh, is give people it can help people uh, to be more uh, more comfortable and uh, maybe it'll help them if we have if we if anyone has a problem uh, they can help them and uh, they can help them in uh, if we they have if uh, they are uh, happy uh, they will go uh, with them uh, and if uh, he is uh, sad they will can they will help him to be uh, happy okay and, uh, can let's 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 pause right people. there all right, let's pause right there. Now, um, uh, we went over uh, a bit here on on time. Remember, we only have 45 seconds to answer the question. Okay. Now, uh, a lot of the of the time, okay, was used to explain 
what what you wanted. All right. I, I think you. you rephrased it uh, three, maybe four times. You said a calm relation, a good relation to each other, or how to how to be more connecting uh, to each other. All right. Yeah. So um, think of one one thing. One because only. You, yeah. You you spent uh, you spent some time explaining and re-explaining what you meant. Okay. Okay. Um, so um, uh, now. The, and what you want to do, make sure that you're answering the, the proper question because this is uh, something from your from your country. So you want to relate it to your country. So if you're talking about a, a good relationship, one with another, okay, uh, explain that. In my country, okay, we have a good relationship with each other. Okay, we we talk to each other, we share with each other, we sing together, we dance together, we eat together, okay. So all okay. of those different things shows the good relation, okay, or the good relationship you, that you have, and okay. then say why. I think this would be good for other people to in other countries to adopt because I see so many problems in the world today, and I think this would help, okay, make a a uh, a more peaceful world. Okay. Right, so that's okay. what you want to what you want to refer it to. You want to compare it to your country and and why this is good for your country, then why it would be good for other countries. Okay. Okay. okay now, uh, one uh, one word that I would like to practice here is the word comfortable. Comfortable. There you go. Instead of comfortable, it's comfortable. Right. Comfortable. That's it. Comfortable. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you very much. Nice job. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's see. Oh, Noodle's having bad connection. Hi, Manel. Welcome. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing great. Thank you. All right, you ready to give it a try? Okay. Hope to be easy question. Uh, yes, it looks like an easier one. So number six. Okay. Yeah. Number six. Go um, ahead and read that. Okay, I read it and I didn't like it. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Advertise, advertising can tell you a lot, a lot about a country. Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. Okay, all right. I, so no, I don't have any idea about this. Okay, um, let's see here. Okay, well, let's try number seven then. Okay. When people move to, an, move to another country, some of them decide, decide to follow the customs of a new country. Others prefer to keep their, to keep their own custom, cu, cu, customers. Compare these two choices. Which one do you prefer? Support your answer with specific details. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, here. Okay, we're going we're going to be um, comparing the two choices. Okay. All right. So. Okay. All right, and then you also need to describe which one you prefer. All right, okay. it's a lot okay. of a lot of things to do in a short amount of time. Okay. All right. So uh, compare them, and then, okay, you're going to okay. decide what you what you like. Don't forget your conclusion. Okay. Okay. All right. So, 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, I put the question in the Google chat box so you, you can refer back to it. Okay, okay. Here, here we go. All right, you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Go. I prefer if I move to another country to, of course, to change my customers, because uh, maybe my because we have to uh, to we have we have to follow the customers of the the country that uh, we are going to, because maybe our uh, because we have because if that country maybe have his own traditional, so we have to. To move, uh, we have to follow it. But in the same time, I would like to keep my customers. But in the end, I would like to wear it both. I mean, mine, my old, and the new one. Okay. 
All right. Good. Good. All right. So, this is this is a complicated one when you're comparing yeah. them, right? Yeah. Yes. I didn't find words to do it. Okay, that's okay. Well, let's talk about it here. So, yeah. uh, let's come back to our our question. Okay. Um, so we're we're looking at uh, people that uh, want to uh, follow the new customs of the country, mm -hmm. and and uh, compared to keeping your customs. Okay. Yeah. So we want to compare yeah. the two. Okay. All right. So one way to do this. So for example, I live in another country right now. I live in Costa Rica. Yes. All right. There are some things that I still do that are based on America. There are yes. other things that I have to do, not have to, but I choose to do based yes. on Costa, Costa Rican lifestyle. Yes. Right? Yes. Um and and then I'll and then I'll say which ones I I prefer. Okay? So for example, um um in, in in Costa Rica or in Central and South America, when people celebrate Christmas, they stay up all night long. All right? Yeah. That's a very fun tradition. All right? Mm -hmm. But I like to keep my own tradition of going to sleep uh, earlier, maybe at 9 or 10 o'clock, okay? Mm -hmm. And then waking up earlier in the morning mm -hmm. to yeah. celebrate uh, celebrate yeah. Christmas. You wake up and you and you open up the presents, okay? And those yes. are different, yeah. okay? Yes. So you want to compare those two different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in one in one situation, I would say, if I were to live in another in another country, right, mm -hmm. I would really enjoy trying out the new traditions, okay, to try something yeah. new and to yeah. experience yeah. how other people live. On the yeah. other hand, I don't want to lose the part of myself that I have grown up, that I've grown really? up with, and the traditions that I've that I've learned my whole life. Yes, but. Right. Really, when it came down to it, I believe I would prefer to keep my own traditions, just as long as they weren't bothering or or uh, harming other people. People, yes. Okay. That's right. So those are the reasons why I. Okay, and then I would go into my conclusion. Okay. Yes. Now, celebrating Christmas does that does that harm other people? No. Okay. Um, so I keep do it. Yeah. So you could do it. Okay, and that's and that's what I believe. If uh, if my tradition doesn't bother someone else, okay, mm -hmm. um, then uh, then then go ahead, okay. Uh, but mm -hmm. if it's a tradition of where I stay up dancing all night long, listening to loud music, okay, that wouldn't mm -hmm. be a tradition that I would want to bring to a new country because that might not be something that's enjoyable that's to others around me. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you want to you want to compare compare those uh, uh, two things and then state the one you prefer, okay? Yes. All right. Now uh, I want to look at something you said here. Uh, first up, the pronunciation of the word change. Let's try that. Change. Change. Okay. Good. Much better. Uh, the next one, and this is when you were kind of stumbling and you were you were trying to look for the right words. You said that country maybe have their own traditional. Yes. Okay. Instead of saying maybe have, we want to say might. Might have. Yes. Okay. And then instead of traditional, it would be traditions. Traditions. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Good attempt there, Manel. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go to Mabel. All right, Mabel. Let's take a look at. Um, our next one down. This is for work. We're on uh, uh, this one here. Let me copy this. Okay, and I'm, pa I'm pasting it in the uh, chat box right now. Go ahead and go ahead and read that out loud. Okay, work. People work because they need money to live. What are some other reasons that people work? Discuss one or more of this reason. Use a specific example and tell to support your answer. Okay. All right. So for an introduction, okay, you can uh, in this uh, in this section you could say um, there are there are many reasons why people work. Okay. One of the more important reasons why I believe people work is to stay busy or is to uh, create relationships with other people. Is to leave the house. Okay. Is to have health insurance. Uh, is to uh, 
feel useful, okay? Yeah, whatever it may be, okay? Then you're going to uh, explain why. Don't forget your conclusion. Your conclusion at the end would then be, that is why I believe, um, or these are the reasons why I believe people go to work to do this, okay? Or that's why I believe blank is uh, one of the reasons why people work, okay? okay. All right, so let's, uh, let's try this out. I'm going to give you 15 seconds to prepare. Here we go. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Go. Um, there are many reasons because people work like, uh, for example, felt useful, um, be outside, new, now new people, increase her relationship with other persons, with another person, and I forget. And that's important because uh, we we need to, to to be in touch with another with another person and feel that that we are my time is over and okay so it goes it goes up to a minute I go 15 seconds and then from 15 seconds up to one minute wow okay okay so it's okay it's okay now um, it, with uh, with your answer here I want to take a look at uh, some some grammar Okay. Uh, first up, uh, you said there are many reasons because people work. Now, in this situation, uh, you need to understand that uh, por qué means two different things. Okay, it would mean why and it would mean because. All right. In in this situation, we would say why. There are many reasons why people work. Ah, oh, okay. All right. All right. Instead of saying because people work. Right. Um, okay. The other, the other one would be to know new people. Okay. To meet. Um, to meet. There we go. To meet new people. Okay. Okay. Last one is uh, we need to be in touch with another person. Okay. Now instead of another person, we would say with other, other. people. Okay. And we, it, we instead of saying person, it would be people. Okay. Okay. Other people. Uh huh. Now, one thing as well that I want to to uh, to mention in Spanish, uh, you use the word uh, to need and to have, okay, or have to a lot, okay. Um, especially uh, tener, that that can come off being very powerful when you say that in English. If you say you have to do this, that's commanding. Okay, it's not as commanding in Spanish. It's just something that you say that this is what you need to do. Okay, uh, same thing with with need. Need is like, oh, I need this. I need to eat. It's like it's like this desire deep down inside. Okay, that that's how it comes off. All right. So in this situation, um, now I under I understand it because because of the the Spanish connection, right? Uh, but yeah, so instead of saying we need to be in touch with other people, okay, we would say we like. Mm, we like. Okay, we like to be uh, to be in touch with other people. Okay, we like to be around other people. Okay, instead of having uh, saying that we, it's a like a deep desire. If we don't have that, we're gonna die. Okay. Okay, that's that's sort of how how we would take that. So we would say like instead. Okay, that's something that we will like to do. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's something that we'd like to do. Okay? Like. All right. Now, uh, good job here. You kind of went through a list of the different reasons why. Okay? Uh, we were lacking in the, uh, in the conclusion. Just remember, uh, we, with this, it goes up to a, a minute on my time. Okay? okay so, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, have, you, have, you have time to – you had time to finish your conclusion there. Okay? All right. Okay. Very good. Nice job, Mabel. Thank you. All right, let's see here. Let's go. Uh, let's see, Nurel made it in. Hi, Nurel. Hi, teacher. I, I got your message that you're having uh, poor, yes. poor connection problems. 
Google today is not nice with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, see what we have here. We're on question number two under work. Okay. okay. Uh, go yeah. ahead and read that out loud. Okay. Uh, do you agree or disagree with the following statements? The most important aspects of a job is money a person earns. Uh, use specific reasons and example to support your your answer. Okay, fifteen seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Yes. Go. I believe that the money you earn is not uh, something that's uh, very important uh, for you uh, to be happy. I think other things are more important too. For example, joy. Uh, you, you must enjoy your job. Uh, if you don't enjoy your job, then you are going to be bored and you may just uh, reflect in your life and make you miserable forever. Uh, another thing is that money doesn't buy your happiness. I know many people who are very rich and they made lots of money, but they are unhappy and gloomy all the time. Therefore, I think money isn't the most important thing to uh, for you. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, we were a little, little over um, uh, in this section, but I think it was because of your intro. I took a look at your intro and when you ended it and started into your examples, and your introduction was about 15 seconds long. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was about 15 seconds long. So if you would have cut down maybe five seconds, uh -huh. you would have had uh, plenty of time to then state your conclusion at the end. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, good good job. I want to take a look at um, only, only one thing, okay? So um, uh, you were talking about joy, okay? The other thing is joy. If you don't joy your job, okay? Now here... Um, um, uh, joy is good, but you want to once you switch it, okay? And you're and you're you're now going to be using it as um, enjoy. Yeah, it would need to be enjoy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and, and the other reason is joy. If you don't enjoy your job, okay? Yeah. Instead of saying if you don't enjoy your job, if you don't enjoy it, okay? To enjoy something, right? Um, now. Uh, other than that, that was pretty good. And I was listening carefully. I was trying to figure out: is she saying enjoy or is she saying joy? And I and I, I think you were just saying joy. Is that right? Yes. Yes, okay. I did. I did. Okay. All right. Good. Now at the at the end, um, let's see. It's not the most important thing. So money isn't the most important thing um, uh, for for us. Or instead of to you. Um, it would probably be for you, I think, in this situation. From what uh, from what I remembered, I wrote down for you, um, mm -hmm. the way that you ended it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so therefore, I believe money isn't the most important thing um, uh, for us or in in life. You might want to say in life uh, at the very tail end as well. That might be a, a good way to end that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Okay. Good. Good. Nice, nice job. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. Let's go to uh, Dunis. Hello. Hi there. Hi there. Okay, Dunis, let's Hi, yeah. take a look at uh, number three. Please go ahead and read that out loud. Okay, can I, uh, can I uh, read? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, so some people prefer uh, to work for themselves or own uh, a business. Others uh, prefer to work an employer. Uh, would you rather uh, be self-employed, uh, work someone else, or own a business? Use specific uh, reasons to explain your choose. 
Okay. All right. So. <laughs> okay. What's that? All right. So here you're going to have to make a decision. All right. Um, and mm -hmm. I would suggest starting your answer out by saying I prefer. Okay. Or you can say I would rather. Okay? And you have three choices. I would rather be self-employed. I would rather mm -hmm. work for someone else. Or I would mm -hmm. rather own a business. Okay, so uh, choose your answer, and then you'll need to uh, um, come up with uh, a couple. So think of about two reasons why. Okay, remember your intro should be very, very quick, right? So that you can get to your reasons. That's the main point of your of why we're answering. Okay. All right. So 15, 15 seconds here to prepare. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm ready. Go. Uh, actually, am I start? Can I yep. start? Go ahead. Ah, okay. Uh, actually, uh, I prefer uh, my uh, business because uh, in my country there are a lot of chance to earn money, uh, and uh, you you can find uh, a lot of uh, free time if you have uh, your own. Uh, job, so I can uh, uh, I can a lot of money uh, in uh, this time in my country. So that's all. This is very uh, simple, but okay. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at uh, at your answer. Uh, first up, uh, you said I prefer my business. Mm, okay. Yes. Now, yeah. instead of saying my business, you want to say I prefer to own my own business. Uh, my own, yeah, okay. Okay, I prefer to own my own business. All right, mm -hmm. and that means to be the owner. Okay, of your own uh, your own type of business. Now, uh, after that, um, uh, you said you said a lot about uh, that there was chances to make uh, make money or uh, or things like that in your country. This, that, or the other, um, and, and, but I didn't really get the exact reason why. Because if you are if you are being self-employed, you would still make money. If you're working with someone else, you'd still make money. All right. So, what would be another benefit of owning your own business? Why would owning your own business be a positive thing in your mind? What would be the difference between owning a business and the other two things? Uh, okay, uh, I understand, <laughs> teacher. Uh, okay. So uh, I have to go now uh, because uh, I'm very busy. Somebody called me. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank for teaching. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Tarek. Yes. Okay, Tarek. Uh, let's take a look at number four, please. Number four. Um, go ahead and read that out loud. Okay. Which would you, cho uh, would you choose? A high-paying job with uh, longer hours that would give you a little, uh, you a little time with family and friends, or a lower-paying job with shorter hours that would give you more time with family and friends. Explain your choice using specific reason and details. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, so 15 seconds to prepare. Oh, whoops, give me one second. Okay, 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Ready. All right, go ahead. Uh, okay. uh, I think a uh, job with 
the high salary uh, 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 okay I will uh, we will talk about uh, job with a uh, high salary and uh, lower uh, lower salary uh, I think uh, there is uh, all of them uh, each other of them uh, each other each one of them uh, has uh, uh, an adv uh, has an advantage I think uh, uh, higher salary job uh, let me get a lot of money uh, but it will take uh, me uh, from my uh, family and my friends and uh, the other uh, one uh, 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 job with the lower salary it, uh, it uh, can't I can't get what I uh, want uh, I can't get what I want uh, so uh, uh, for this reason I will uh, choose uh, uh, a, a, a job with uh, with uh, 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 I will choose the average. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look here. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, let's see. Okay. So, all uh, in this question, all you would need to do is choose. All right. There, there. Uh, uh, you you went in and you compared both of them. Okay. Uh, and you did not need to uh, compare. All right. Now, in but at the end, it sort of sounded like you you wanted both, right? Yes. <laughs> I think that's what we all want, right? <laughs> we want a nice paying job that that allows you time to be with your friends and family. I I, I think that's yes, what everybody wants. So, um, uh, with that, um, let's see. How could you do that? Um, it, you could say if if it was possible, I would rather have both. Okay, and then explain why you would rather have both. Uh, because I didn't uh, I didn't understand exactly what was happening until you got to the very end. Okay, so make sure when if you are going to answer that way. Okay, which which you can. I don't recommend it. I always recommend choosing, uh, you know, following what the question is stating, even that even though you may have a different opinion um, or a different feeling, uh, choose one that makes it a little bit easier on yourself, right? Uh, so you don't have to do verbal acrobatics. Okay, um, but okay. if you are going to if you are going to um, uh, Use a hybrid answer where you're where you're talking about both of them. Make sure to state that at the very beginning. Uh, if not, then someone has to wait to the very end and, and think, oh, okay, that's why they, they said that. Okay, so you want to make make your point uh, right from the get go. All right. Now, okay. um, one thing here, uh, grammar wise, you said it would take me from my family and friends. Okay, you would need to say take me away. Okay, it would take me away from take my family away. and friends. Yeah. So add in add in okay. that particular word. Okay? Okay. 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 All right, very good. Okay, you guys. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you for, for coming into class. Uh, we are out of time. Uh, it was great having you here. Um, keep keep studying, keep working on your on your TOEFL answers. Uh, they are complicated, okay? And it, they are that way for a reason. All right? So because you you are going to be studying for for jobs and for getting into university, all right? And they want the best of the best of the best. Okay, all right, you guys. Uh, thanks for coming in. We'll see ya. Thank Bye. you very much, teacher. Thank you.